professor, I would test you in the worst way. Don't bring a scantron, it's pop quizzes all day. Cause of our chemistry, we do biology. What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Subscribe or die trying. We got to talk about this, man. Um, hate internally and from afar. You know what I'm saying? Um, so there's a clip on YouTube about Sammy Davis Jr. talking about Malcolm X and Martin Luther King. And I'm going to just let you hear it. You know what I'm saying? We'll get into it after that. Brothers and sisters who don't like you. See, everybody not going to like you. And to be perfectly honest, some people are too stupid to know why they don't. And there comes a point where us, you know, we in black America, we got to accept that everybody in our, you know, all, all skin folk ain't kin folk. But at the same time, people have irrational motives for hate that we try to rationalize. Like, stop wasting your time trying to figure out if somebody doesn't like you. Don't waste your time figuring out why they don't like you. Figure out how to protect yourself because if they don't like you for no for for no for a reason that they don't like you, that doesn't mean they'll try to harm you because of that. They will try to hurt you because they don't like you. And using Malcolm and Martin in, in the sense you know, people got paid to not to, to exercise their hate on a person that they did not know because they didn't like what they were standing for, their rhetoric. And the irony of it is with some of this stuff, some of these people, the vast majority of these people, they like Malcolm. They like Jesus. I'll say it this way. Jesus, Martin Luther King Jr., and Malcolm X, they like those brothers better dead than alive. And, 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 and the reason I say that is because it took for them to die for people to realize what kind of person that they, that they were. You know, even, even the people that hated them. You know, people threw parties, you know, and celebrations when, uh, when Martin Luther King Jr. died. Well, got assassinated, and Malcolm X got assassinated. They do parties. Look, look on social media right now. When when people when black men die, people have this snarky, you know, celebrational attitude about yeah, good, good. That's why you supposed to. It's like oh, okay, all right, all right. I see, I see where you're coming from. You gotta hate that that that. It's never gonna go away. And unfortunately, you know, you gotta stop worrying about if the hate is gonna go away because some of these people don't even don't even know why they hate people, you know. And I'm talking about people within the race, like, you know, sometimes it is it, it is a uh, clout, sometimes it is money, sometimes it's intelligence, sometimes it's jealousy, you know. Sometimes, you know, she likes him but she don't like me. But, you know, we, we've spent too much time worrying about haters instead of preparing for them trying to exercise their hate, that we, we become foolish at, at, at times. 
And what I think of, why I think about that and why I was using the Sammy Davis talk about it is because the other thing is sometimes, you know, you got to look at history from the people who were there and, and, and when they were there and how they spoke when they were there and how they spoke after it was over. You can use social media to do it. And you start putting two and two together that a lot of people are trying to rewrite history because they're trying to make themselves look good because they were on the hateful side back in the day. And a lot of us don't get that because we're not doing our due diligence and in, in searching for information. You know, so when every, you, you got to accept everybody's not going to like you. And, and the other reason I use Sammy Davis Jr., there was a time, I forget who it was, <clears throat> It might have been after um, Martin Luther King got assassinated because they did a concert. And James Brown did a concert, and I want to say in D.C. I could be wrong. But Sammy Davis Jr. was kind of looked at as a sellout. You know, he was doing white stuff. He wasn't doing black stuff. Kind of like, like, you know, I'll get to that in a minute. But he was just singing, you know, I got to be me. He was doing it. You know, Vegas stuff, and people were booing him because, like, man, I ain't black. You ain't black. You, you want to be with the rat pack and the white boys, blah, blah, blah. But he didn't stop. He doubled down. He said, listen, man, I'm going to be me, dog. Like, yeah, I'm I'm black, but I'm just this black. If you can't accept that, that's your problem, but I'm going to be me. And wind up, you know, the crowd kind of, he won the crowd over by basically saying, listen, I know who I am, but this is who I am, too. So they had to, to deal with it. And... You know, I thought about that when I thought about Whitney Houston, because some of y'all don't realize, you know, Whitney Houston went through a phase early in the 80s where people just like, eh, she ain't making black music. She ain't black enough. You know, black people, black people was like, eh, you know, that's, that's white music you making. We ain't trying to hear that, you know. So, but now looking back at it, people go, oh, Whitney is the greatest voice of our, she, Whitney Houston is one of the greatest singers of all time. Vocally, but we forget that you know everybody's not liked, you know. And the issue isn't that everybody isn't liked, it's sometimes the reason why people don't like people is really stupid. So, if you feed into it, you're gonna be stupid too, you know. So, you know, and I, I was hating recently on LeBron because you know, shy town, you know, look, I don't want to hit a goat conversation, but let's be honest, man, a man is great, a man is very great, you know. So but understand everybody's not going to like you. You're not everybody's cup of tea. So, you know, when people look back, look at people in the past and go, oh, they were such a great person. They say that in retrospect. Retrospect. Remember that. But I'm done. Like, share, subscribe, or die. Try and catch y'all on the next one. Peace. You ever been to the top of the universe? I'm going to tell you.